Hi you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to sort your emails by sender, size, date, and unread in your Gmail. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on your mobile as well as on the desktop. So have these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So first I'm going to show you guys how to filter by sender. And so first off we're going to launch our Gmail. So the mobile app doesn't have the same features as the desktop version of Gmail. The way you filter out is you basically have to memorize the filters that your emails are under technically and then manually search them. So for example, if I was trying to find a set of emails that were sent by a particular person, I would simply search the recipient's or sender's name in the search bar. So to simplify this, I'll show you. I'll go to the inbox. And if in your inbox you don't see that search bar right away, all you have to do is scroll up a little bit and it's going to pop up. We're going to go to the search bar and then I'm going to search the recipient or sender's name that I'm trying to find. So once I've searched the person's name, we're going to be presented with a few different options. So we have all mailboxes here, current mailbox on the right of that. Below that, it's going to be the top hits. So any emails that mention or highlight the person or thing that you've searched is going to pop up there. And below this, you'll have suggestions. So if the sender contains um, the word you searched, if the subject contains the word you searched, or if an attachment name contains the word you searched. Under the suggestions, we'll hit the name if it popped up, which it should have. And then we're gonna find all the emails that we've received. So if you look up at the top here, it'll be from. So you'll have the name of that person and it's from this person. So these are all the emails that you've received from them. If you're wanting to locate or filter all of the emails you've sent to that person, you're simply just gonna click the to option beside that. And if you have any emails, they'll be found there. Otherwise, it'll say no results found. Next to that will be messages. So this is going to be any messages or emails that contain the name that you typed in. Um, it's all going to be there. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to filter through file size. So the first thing we're going to do is go to that search bar and type size. We'll do a colon and then we're going to add and we'll search. And if I had any file sizes that were one gigabyte, they would pop up here in all my mailboxes. So this is gonna include any attachments that are one gigabyte and any attachments that are larger than one gigabyte as well. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to filter by date. So to filter by date, we're gonna either wanna type before this date or after this date. So if you're trying to find a list of emails that were before January of 2023, this is how you would do that. You would search before, colon, and then you're going to type it out year slash month slash day. We'll do 2024, January 18th. And we're going to search this and it's going to bring up every single email that I have received before this date. So we can scroll through, we can select your all mailboxes or current mailbox. And then another thing that we can do is search after that date. So if I wanted to filter through my emails after last week, 2024, January 1st. And then it's gonna bring up any email that I have received after that date. If you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks again, let's get back to the video. To filter through your unread emails, you're just gonna follow that same type of steps. So you're gonna go into that search bar and just search unread. You'll click search and then it's gonna bring up every single unread email that you have. So now that you know how to filter emails, it's gonna help you to stay more organized Especially if, like me, you receive a lot of emails and you put off getting rid of them in your inbox. So another thing that you can do now that you can filter is mass delete emails. So if there's a certain sender that you want to mass delete the emails from, you'll simply search that person's name as we went over. It's going to bring up every single thing here. And then to mass delete these emails, you're going to hit edit at the bottom right. 
and you can select all of these to delete instead of slowly picking through all of them, making sure you're not selecting the wrong ones, and then you'll simply hit that delete in the bottom. As another bonus tip to mass delete everything in your inbox, you'll simply hit the edit at the top and you'll click the select all button and that's where you can move all of these to the trash. You can archive them or you can mark them as whatever you want. Okay, now let's move to the desktop. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the exact same thing. Alrighty, so filtering through emails on the desktop is gonna be a much easier process. Um, so you'll launch your Gmail and then up at this search mail icon, this search mail bar here at the top, you'll find on the right hand side, three lines. And so you'll click that. And this is gonna bring a drop down menu with a bunch of different um, search options and filter options. So you have in comparison to the mobile version, you have a lot more options here. So you can either search um, several filters at once. So you can search the, search the uh, sender and the recipient, the subject, whether it has words, um, the size, the date, a whole bunch of different options here. Now, if you still want to search individually, uh, individual filters, you can do that as well. And I'll go over that with you. So, so if you have a sender in mind, you'll put their name in the from um, search bar here. And if that's all you want to filter out right now, then you're just going to simply go down to that search option and search mail. So just as before, it's going to refresh and bring up everything in your inbox that are from this person. Um, so you can go through, you can filter through and find a certain email. Another thing that you can do um, after you've searched is if you go up to the top here, you'll see that you'll see that it's including read mail and unread mail. So if you want to filter out everything that you've already read, um, you're going to click this. It's going to refresh your page and then it's going to only include things that you haven't opened yet. And then to get back to that filter option, we're going to click those three lines again. Let's say you want to filter out um, all the emails except for somebody that if you want to find all of the emails that you've sent to that person, you're going to just put their email into this column here. And then we'll go down to that search bar again and we'll click it and it's going to do that same thing. Now, if for example, you do that and there are no matches, it's just simply going to tell you that there are no matches. Um, and it's going to give you some tips too. So if you're sure that you have mail from this person, um, you can broaden your search um, by looking in mail and spam and trash. However, another way to do this, uh, to broaden your search, is to just make sure that you're looking at the, the email that you've read and you haven't read. So to do this, you're going to go up to the back to the search bar options and then go down to this search option here. You'll click that and you can choose red mail. We'll search again and now I have emails popping up for me. So the next thing is size and often it's difficult to remember the exact size of a certain attachment that we're looking for. Um, and what Gmail offers is a greater than or less than scale. So you can search greater than a certain size or less than and then next to this, you'll just put the number you're guessing. And then to the right of that, you have your measurements. So you can select any one of these and then you'll search once again. And that filter will be applied. The same goes for less than. That filter is applied again. Another really great filter is going to be the date within. So. Once again, sometimes it's hard to remember the exact date you re um, received an email, which is why we end up filtering through our emails in the first place. And so date within is a really good filter to use. You'll just click down and you're going to have all of these options um, to sort through. So if you received an email that you're trying to find within the week, you'll just search one week um, and you can search that. Otherwise, if you do remember the exact date, you can just go into the calendar here on the right hand side and you can choose the exact date and then search by that. 
Remember too that you, when you click on this search button here, you have all of these other filters to go through. So you can filter through these um, different inboxes that you have and red mail, unread, all of these. You can also check off the boxes whether you want it to include whether it has an attachment or not, um, if you want it to include the chats or not. Um, and another really good thing to keep in mind is that you can always create a filter. So if you realize you're often using the same type of filter, say it was the date within one week, I can just simply click create filter. Um, you'll have to confirm this and click OK. And then you can just simply click on that filter that you have and instead of having to manually create it every time. So as my bonus tip, I'm going to show you guys how to mass delete emails. And then I'm going to also show you how to create labels and or folders. So to mass delete emails, it's going to be super simple, especially on the desktop. You'll find on the left side um, a, a square, and this is the select option. So if you click the square, you'll see it selects everything in your inbox. And if you wanted to, you could delete all of those. Another thing you can do is click that down arrow and you can select through these filters. My other bonus tip is how to create labels or folders. This is a really great way to keep your Gmail inbox organized, especially if you have certain emails that you don't want deleted and you want to save the documents in them. Um, you can create a folder to put those emails into. So to do this, you're going to go down to labels at the bottom. Labels and folders are the same thing. Um, you're going to click that plus symbol and create a new label. And then you're just going to title it whichever suits its purpose and is easy to spot. It's not going to blend in with any of your Gmail labels. Another thing you can do is nest the label under a certain inbox. So Gmail, all mail, drafts, etc. And then you'll hit create. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful, that you can use this information or maybe pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video.